Hey, what's up guys? This is Paul from the SysAdmin channel. And in this video, I will show you step-by-step -step how to configure your LACP and NIC teaming so you can double your connection speeds. And we're starting right now. So here I am on my 2012 R2 physical server. And the first thing we're gonna do is open up PowerShell and run an IP config. This will let us know um, that we do have two NICs installed on that physical server and that they're two, getting two different IP addresses. So once we confirm that, we'll go ahead and click on local server on the left and we'll select the NIC teaming portion. By default, it's set to disabled. So once you go ahead and click on that, we wanna set up a new NIC team. So we'll click on tasks, new NIC team, and we'll give the NIC team name, uh, NIC team, just to give it something relevant. For the ethernet addresses, we'll select both ethernet uh, adapters and for the teaming mode, we'll set up as LACP. For the load balancing mode and the standby adapter, we'll go ahead and leave that as the default. I should note that you will lose connectivity to the server until you configure LACP on the switch. So let's do that now. So here I have PuTTY open to SSH into our Cisco 3750 switch. Um, it's prompting me for the username or for the login and password. My login is gonna be admin and my password is gonna be uh, the password that I set. So the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is check to see if there are any ether channel groups currently set up. And to do that, we'll run the show ether channel summary. And here you can see that I do have a LACP group already set for another port of, uh, another set of ports. So in order to configure my new ports, I have them on uh, port nine and 11. So to configure our first port, we'll do a conf T to configure the terminal. We'll enter in G209 because it's on the ninth port. And then once we're in that port, we want to set up a channel group. And since this is our second ether channel in our switch, I'm gonna go ahead and enter in channel group two, mode active. And the active sets it as always active. Um, now on to our second port, which is port 11. I'm just gonna go ahead and up arrow and it should pick up the same uh, syntax or the same command line. So once I've entered that in, I'm just going to go ahead and exit out of, or end out of that. And it should take us back into our privilege exec mode. And then now you can see that both of our ether channels are set up. Port 11 and port 9 are configured as a port bundle. So that did take in successfully. So now any minute um, our servers should come back online. So just as expected, it did come back online. So I'll go ahead and close that SSH session. And here you can now see that the teaming mode is LACP. I'll go ahead and open up PowerShell again and run another IP config. And here you can see that it is utilizing one NIC team with one IP address. So both of those ether, um, both of those NICs are now being bundled into as one. We can also see here that I put, if I open up the network settings and open up the properties for the NIC team, you can see now that it's running aggregate speed of two gigabits per second as opposed to um, one gigabit per each. So Nick teaming is working and that about wraps it up for today for this video. If you have any questions for anything I did in this video, go ahead and let me know. And if you would like to see any other sysadmin related videos, go ahead and let me know in the comments as well. Until next time, this is Paul with the sysadmin channel, signing out.